Hi, wanted to show you inside of ZW uh, some hybrid modeling. And hybrid modeling is solid and surface modeling uh, using the same types of tool sets. So I'm going to use an extrusion. <clears throat> I'm going to start off with a little sketch. And yeah, we're going to try a uh, blend point curve here, just kind of conceptualizing. And again, we're just conceptualizing, so I'm going to put just a couple dimensions on just to see where we're at. And <clears throat> that's enough for uh, conceptualizing. And maybe we'll go back an inch and a half. So that extrude, which is a basic solid shape tool, I just made a surface. And if I look at my open edges, I can see that I have four open edges on this particular part. So we're doing some surface modeling with these solid base tools. And now we're going to kind of continue along our uh, our mirror shape. And we're going to loft in between these two. And we can kind of play with you know, our loft tools, see how much curvature we want. Uh, we're going to maintain tangency, though. And we're going to add those two together. So at this point, I'm going to go to my surfacing tools and I'm going to add a dome on these two curves in the back. You can see the dynamic preview on the screen here. We're going to affect our dome. And uh, maybe I want this out about two and a quarter. But I don't want the center of my dome here. I'm going to drag this I'm going to drag this over here. No, well, that was actually touched too far. Let me change that position. Maybe somewhere in here. And I can change my tangency and curvature of this shape before I commit to it. So actually like that that's pretty good so there's our nice dome surface on top of our of our loft um, and at this point we're going to add a mounting uh, shape to this so I'm gonna go through my sketch tool and I'm gonna pick some sort of kind of elliptical shape because most of these uh, mirrors um, really have a level of aerodynamic to them. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll call that good. So again, this is a solid tool that I'm actually using on a set of surfaces, and I'm going to come out four inches from my center. And I'm going to tell it to add this together. So even though this is a solid tool, I just have an open set of surfaces, and I added this shape. So this is hybrid modeling, is being able to, to change between solid and or surfacing with the same tool sets. Um, with the same set of tools um, is going to do my solid and surface modeling. So I don't have to learn all these different surfacing tools and freeform tools, um, I'm doing a lot of it with the same tool sets. So I'm going to shell this out and give it some wall thickness 
and while we shell it, we're going to open up this back face. Now I have a solid. Now I, if I go to my healing toolbar and say show open edges, I have zero open edges. We have a solid. Um, so now I need to mount this thing to my, my vehicle. So I'm going to insert a sketch on my XY plane. And again, just kind of conceptualizing. I mean, normally you'd have this exact geometry, but so this is, let this represent the side of my car panel. And we're going to insert another sketch that may represent our, our door pillar, right? So that door pillar is going to kind of come down, have some curvature as well. So at this point, we can do a um, sweep of this curve on this sketch here, and we're going to make it its own shape. So at this point, what we need to do is we need to mount this mirror. We got to pull this geometry from here to here. And how do you do that, right? Well, in ZW, we can do a wireframe. I'm going to put a curve on this face through points. And yep, on that curve, that face, rather. Let me turn my shading off. So we're going to start somewhere in there. We're going to create a closed curve. All right, so we're going to take our more mechanical mount and move it over to this this mount here. So if we go to our our shapes and say morph curve to curve, the geometry is going to be this shape. And we want to go from that curve to this curve. And how how much do we want to influence? And actually this default of three quarters looks pretty good because we're not peeling all the way back to here. Got a nice smooth change of contour. So there is our door, our, our mirror mounted to our door. So we don't need this anymore, so I can actually erase that. Uh, we will need to add a mirror. So let's go ahead and create another shape, and we're going to use these existing curves. And our mirror is going to sit back in just a touch. And it's going to be a little bit smaller because obviously the mirror needs to move. So there is the mirror. Let's change the color of this to make it a little more interesting here. And actually we can pick, maybe it's all going to be a stainless mirror. And also, we can add in a picture. And we can make this a little bigger. Rotate this 180. I'm going to change my origin. About a touch bigger. Okay. So, ZW 3D hybrid modeling, solids and surfaces uh, interfacing together. Seamlessly. That's the overdrive kernel. Thanks.